abundance. We all want it. And it means different things for different people. For some people, it's that dream of the big white house by the ocean. For other people, it's minimalist, where you can have a basic lifestyle that's so easy to maintain, but it gives you the freedom to travel the world, to explore, to really feel yourself. For other people, it's having a cozy home and friends and the ability to buy the necessities that you want. And for other people, it's being able to have the best health that they can possibly have. For still other people, it means being generous with others to make those donations when you feel to without feeling any repercussions. But however you feel abundant, there's something you should know. Your abundance only lines up with one other person in the entire universe, your twin flame. The reason that the, is this way is it truly is the natural order of things. It's the very reason that some animals make their home, they make it nice and orderly. There is, is a design to it. There is structure, there's strength. Though this is just made of calcium, it's so strong. There's beauty, there's symmetry to it. So how do you feel abundant with your twin flame? You create it together and you create it in ways that actually is very much like making each other's wish come true. So what I'm here to talk to you about, I'm Patricia, by the way, and I am here to talk to you about a two-day, uh, two-week workshop that I have going on about the topic of abundance. We're going to cover this. I'm going to send out a handout so that you, if you join, you can actually ponder some of this and really feel deeply and really tap some things at a deep and high level. Now, this workshop webinar is going to be in two languages. It's going to be in English, and I'm going to be doing this with Wala Amutawa, who speaks Arabic. How fabulous is this that we almost have two parts of the world that we're covering with the topic of abundance? And this is specifically going to also talk about financial abundance, not just money, but flow manifesting, your calling, your mission. Yeah, we're going to talk about mission. I actually prefer to call it the calling of the heart. And because that's really how it is. It, it means how would you like to express? And, uh, and sometimes it's that simple. What do you wish to do? We're going to break it down so that even in all these confusing, turbulent energies, there's stuff that is intense. We're going to make it easy so that you can focus where you need to. Because like it or not, you and your twin are doing this really uh, fine balancing act. This is a perfect time for it because these energies, this is an eclipse in the sign of cancer. And cancer is all about homes and houses and homey things, comfort. I have these shells on purpose because I'm a cancer. So you better believe that this energy can affect people uh, when it comes to that house of your houses. But there's also an influence of Capricorn. And these two are like polar opposites. Boom, boom. You start collapsing what are you collapsing so that you can create? What needs to happen so that you can build? Because the beauty part about your twin flame body and being a lover 
is that you have the ability to reinvent. You're not here for your same old grandma stuff. That's just not going to suit you. It's not going to fit you. It doesn't matter if you're a quiet type or if you're the life of the party type and you're gregarious. It really doesn't matter how your personality is. We are not able to do some things in the same old way. You won't want to live in that box. You just can't. You're going to feel like breaking the mold. Now, we have some special considerations because we're also in 2020 and in some parts of the world, if you go back about 100 years, that's when women were given the right to vote. There were times women couldn't be abundant on their own because they couldn't own property. They couldn't uh, venture out or they needed a facade or they needed uh, you know, to have it grandfathered in by family or something. We want to continue collapsing these things that hinder a person's ability to fly. You know, we got to stop clipping the wings so that people who are bringing all their gifts and their skills with their gifts right here, right down to earth, are able to blossom out with it. That's what I'm all about. And how do we clear those root issues that have actually kept people stuck for a while? What are the core things that keep people stuck? And sometimes it's more than just being in the wrong relationship. It's about your own ability to move, to be free, and to freely have the things that really make life enjoyable. Because I'm all about unconditional. And unconditional means you're not putting conditions on your life. You're not putting conditions on the things that you know you would like to have or that you need. Not just good health. Good health and well-being is a part of it. Not just seeing a series of numbers that say, whoa, it's 11-11 again. If you see 11-11, this is an alignment at a higher level. But if you see a 111, that's time for some action. And what that means is twin flamey kind of action. That means time to get busy with your twin flame body, which helps to put you in so many of the things that help you create. When I say create, I mean reinvent, build, be yourself, be who you came here to be, but even more than that, being a lover, being the romantic, having generosity of spirit, taking it beyond the physical, taking it beyond the survival mode, getting yourself situated, and not only that, having it together with the one who your heart and your soul loves. So, as you can see right behind me here, the sign, there's beauty all around when there is love at home. So, having a peaceful time a harmonious time, a synergism, something where all of the energy is sort of on the same page, in the same vibe, on the same wavelength of let's create more. That's something that I've always said when things get tough. I say it's me and you, God. Let's create more. Let's not like get kicked when, you know, we're down. Let's not try to be in victim mode, let's say, how can we, me and my love and the divine, how can we get this shifted, get it moving? And you know what? I know how to do this. And for twin flames, to a degree, the law of attraction doesn't work the same way it once did. It's not that it doesn't work at all. It's that you need more of yourself to manifest what you want as individual 
union. So there is your union and there's two people in it and there's only two people. And you can't piece that together anymore. And it means clearing out the things that you just don't need so that they're not hanging on you. So you have the space to bring into your life what's supposed to come into your life. So this is this is not going to talk about, you know, breaking up with a person so much. We want to talk about getting yourself into the mode of abundance because abundance is all forms of feel good stuff. It's having friendships, it's having good family relationships, it's having good financial stuff. Good financial stuff is sometimes more than just money because it sometimes means getting that credit approved for that house that you want, getting that business loan that you need for that business that you want, finding the right person to help you with creating the things that you want. And that's what I'm here to help you get in the mode of. And with the help of my handout, you're going to ponder this a bit. And you're going to be able to pull some stuff out of you, get out of your head, get into your heart, and get some things growing. Get it blossom, like a big flower. So if you would like to join, the link is below. We will uh, have quite a bit of space. The webinar is going to be on Zoom. When you sign up, I will be sending you um, the information. And we are meeting on the um, 17th and 18th and also on the 24th and 25th. So there's four segments for one price. And I think you'll find it well worth it. It's always a good thing to address what you're feeling and where you want to go. Because that's a lot of the process. You go and you expand. And just like, you know, just like these guys, they build something that is their little safe haven. Okay? The little animals aren't in there anymore. But isn't this just gorgeous? Look at that. So these are these are almost perfect examples and very appropriate in these energies, I feel, because. The water and the shells and the structure and just the grand design of what the DNA is able to produce when you just turn it this way or turn it that way and get something just absolutely gorgeous that people love to collect. And what do you have in you? Okay, we get this question a lot. How many of you ask yourselves this? What do you have in you? What do you got? Okay. That's an open-ended question, but come, you're going to find that, that you're able to really start sparking something up. I have done this for a couple of years and people find success because it's not so much about what it is that you put to paper. It's about getting your heart in the right place. So I hope you can join just Watch what I've got here and watch for the links below. I'm Patricia from Twin Flame Body. Thanks so much. Bye.